Hey guys, it's Mama J. Today I would like to share with you five reptile hacks that I think would make your life as a hobbyist a whole lot easier. And best of all, you can find a lot of these items at your local store for under $5. So stay tuned to find out more. The first life hack I would like to share with you is mini cups or condiment cups. Now many times these are used as feeding cups for crested or gargle geckos. And I go through quite a few of these on a weekly basis. Now typically I buy the Pangea ones that fit into my specific feeding ledges. Now while I still do that for some of the smaller ledges, I found that the condiment cuts do just fine in the larger size ledges. And as you can see for comparison, the condiment cup is just a tad bit taller but when you put it in the ledge, there's really very little difference. The other nice thing is that mini cups end up being about half the price of the Pangea, so it ends up being a very nice savings. Now I use these cups in leopard gecko tanks for water dishes and lots of other different types of uses, but one of the things that I found most helpful is using it in my Cricut Keeper. And as you know, crickets are so messy and I have trouble with food just going everywhere and getting stuck to the bottom of the tank. And I found that these feeding cups work great. They keep the food and the hydration formula contained and it really makes the tank so much cleaner. The other perk is that the crickets like to hang out in the cups, so it makes things a little bit easier to grab a few that I need for meal time. Life hack number two is mini scrapers. Now if you keep reptiles that have high humidity requirements, chances are you're using a misting system or you spray your tanks down regularly. For those of us that have hard water, calcium can build up very quickly on the glass. While vinegar and water helps combating some of these water stains, sometimes you just have to scrape the glass really well to get it clean. Now I've bought several types of aquarium scrapers that seem to work fine, but they can be pricey and of course all scrapers dull over time. So I thought one day I sure wish there was a cheaper option for when I need to replace a blade. And I happened to be in the Dollar Tree one day when I saw these little mini scrapers at the hardware area. Now best of all they were in a four pack for just a dollar. Now one thing that I really liked about these is that they came with a little guard. So you push a button on the handle and the blade will release. Then you just flip your blade over to the sharp side and plus press the button again to secure it. The other nice thing is that they're small and so that really helps get into the corners that you might not be able to get into with a larger size scraper. Another thing that I really like is, um, in my case I have multiple uh, tanks that I'm cleaning and so it's nice for me with something inexpensive like this I can actually have a designated scraper for each tank. Now I do recommend drying the blade thoroughly before you store it just so you don't run into any kind of a rust issue. But overall I thought it was a great option for a cheap price. Reptile hack number three is salt and pepper shakers. As hobbyists, we are always dusting insects with calcium powder or vitamin supplements to give our animals those things that might be lacking in their diet and to promote good health. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to make a huge mess when I am doing this. I picked up a couple of salt and pepper shakers for a dollar and I filled one up with calcium and the other with Herpavite. Now it was helpful for me to stick a label on it just so that I didn't get confused which one was which. It is easy to dust just the right amount of powder on the insects now. Great for salads too. I tend to think of it as my Parmesan cheese for bearded dragons. Reptile hack number four is using kitchen shelf liners for substrate. Now I use this in both of my bearded dragon tanks and I love the fact that it comes in a variety of patterns and colors. It's water resistant so spills and messes are easy to wipe up and you can find a small roll of it at the Dollar Tree, which fits perfect in a 20 gallon long tank, or you could use two rolls in a 40 gallon breeder. You can find larger rolls of it at Walmart or Target that run about $5, but they are easy to cut to size, and the other nice thing is that you can take them out and wash them with soap and water, and then reuse it. Reptile hack number five is storage bins and baskets. 
Now I use these all over the room. Whether it's a Tupperware container or a cloth basket, they are great to keep supplies grouped together and give your room a much more organized look. By having each of your supplies in a designated space, it will save you time as you go about your daily care routine. Now another way I love to use these containers is for a critter keeper. I found this small green container at the Dollar Tree. I drilled some air holes in it and it has been a good safe place to put Pixel in when I needed to clean his tank. I have also used containers like this to transport animals. Now plastic storage bins have many more uses. You can make a bathtub for your lizard or even make a roach colony. Best of all, you can find a variety of containers for just a few dollars. I hope you guys have found these reptile hacks helpful to you. And I bet you have some great tips as well. So leave a comment down below and share something that you've learned to save you time or money in helping care for reptiles. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.